Hello everybody, this next clip provides you with some insights into We Buy Cars. This slide provides context regarding the used vehicle market. The used vehicle industry is resilient, defensive and growing, despite South Africa's economic climate. In South Africa, there are 10.8 million vehicles and 38% of our population use personal vehicles, with vehicle ownership being an aspiration deeply rooted in many South Africans. We Buy Cars business model is even more relevant in a post-COVID-19 environment, driven by more consumers opting to trade down from new to used vehicles, and new vehicle sales per year reducing by about 3.4%, that's from 2014 to 2019, now further amplified by COVID-19, as consumers' disposable income comes under strain and the weakening RAND drives the price of new vehicles up. Another structural element is that SA's vehicle car park is growing despite new vehicle sales reducing over the last 10 years. This block on the right-hand side of the slide shows that in 2020, we expect about 395 new vehicles to enter the market and about 350,000 vehicles to be written off and coming out of the market, showing growth in one of the worst years ever. In an average year, we experience about 500,000 new vehicle sales per year, of which about 46% are financed, and about 1.2 million used vehicle sales per year of which only 32% are financed. For every new car sold, we sell about 2.4 used cars in South Africa. We also see a shift from new to used vehicles. Over the past five years, new vehicle sales have reduced by about 3.4% per year, whilst used vehicle sales have increased by about 1.7% per year. Finally, SA has experienced a strong recovery in used vehicle sales, which are now already back to pre-COVID levels. We don't have time to talk through the slide in detail, but I will highlight a few of WeBuyCar's key competitive advantages. First, proprietary data. WeBuyCar's leverages 20 years of vehicle, price, consumer and other data with artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is applied to ensure that vehicles are bought and sold at a fair price and we buy cars will flex pricing according to value and demand to preserve margins and high stock turn. Next, we buy cars has invested heavily over the years in expansive infrastructure which enables we buy cars to hold a large variety and a large quantum of stock. Our physical infrastructure includes seven vehicle supermarkets similar to what you can see behind me, 19 buying pods and more than 150 national buyers. Our e-commerce platform includes an established B2B platform with vehicle dealerships and early stage B2C activities already commenced. Finally, We Buy Cars is a well-known, reputable and trusted brand in an industry where trust and consumer satisfaction has traditionally and historically been low. This is achieved firstly by effective advertising campaigns with spend of more than 100 million rand per year and consistently high satisfaction levels. The next two slides shows the scale of our physical infrastructure which enables we buy cars to hold a large variety and a large quantum of vehicle stock. It's clear that We Buy Cars is a high quality standalone business with strong organic growth prospects, favorable structure, structural market conditions and a business model that is highly relevant in a post COVID-19 environment. This places We Buy Cars well to build on its long term track record of growth. Our organic growth prospects include a medium term target to increase the volume of vehicles traded to about 10,000 vehicles per month. This will be achieved by the expansion of our physical infrastructure to meet demand requirements and the extension of We Buy Cars e-commerce capability. We Buy Cars will also enhance unit economics and margin potential by increasing the take up of FNI products, enhancing existing arrangements with the providers of these products, adding new allied products, and finally, 
offering finance and insurance and other allied products as a principal. Whilst Rebar Cars' business model is unique in South Africa, there are many globally listed peers. These include online platforms, marketplaces, franchise dealerships, and e-commerce participants with vehicle supermarkets like us. It would be excellent if you could perform some research on these peers in your own time. What made TC really excited about this investment is that We Buy Cars stacks up well against comparable international peers, with profitability surpassing comparable peers, supported by efficient inventory management and effective advertising spend. We Buy Cars financial performance has been outstanding. This is a high growth business. The investment in We Buy Cars will accelerate TC's growth rate. We Buy Cars compound annual growth rate from 2017 to 2020 in revenue has been 62%, in EBITDA has been 65% and in earnings has been 58%. You can see that margins have been stable even during this period of high growth if you take a look at this black line running through the middle of the slide. There is also an opportunity for We Buy Cars to increase unit economics per vehicle sold from greater take up of FNI products. Currently, FNI product margin is earned on 15% of vehicles sold. For every 1% increase in penetration, We Buy Cars estimates that earnings will go up by 9.3 million Rand. Next, We Buy Cars established infrastructure facilitates operational leverage, with 40% of costs being fixed and about 60% of costs be being variable. And finally, We Buy Cars has a capital light business model with a robust balance sheet, marginal or minimal leverage, and high cash conversion rates. This slide shows that significant growth has been achieved, made possible by operational excellence. I only want to highlight two points on the slide. Firstly, We Buy Cars has achieved robust stock turn of about 25 days, resulting in high cash conversion rates. Secondly, we Buy Cars has seen a strong COVID-19 recovery. By way of example, during the months of January and February 2020, We Buy Cars sold about 5,950 vehicles on average per month. And during the months from July to October 2020, we sold more than 6,250 vehicles per month, proving that the business model has gained in relevance in a post-COVID-19 environment as used vehicles are more affordable than new vehicles. Thank you everyone, until I see you again, stay safe, stay healthy and stay productive.